Now to an incredible story, a long lost postcard. A, city, a Cedar City woman rather received a letter from her grandmother who has since died, which was dating back to 1968. Wow, ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Verdadero explains where the postcard came from and how it couldn't have come at a better time. Betsy Bender is mourning the loss of her mother who passed away last month. My mom died of being tired and she's been in pain for a year and it was time. It was time for her to go. Bender says the last conversation she had with her mother was about the travels they did in her youth. And you know, the last things that she mouthed because she couldn't talk. She mouthed, I love you. You know, it's the last thing that she motioned um, and she passed. Bender asked her mother to send her a sign after passing away to let her know she's okay wherever she is. Then Bender got this 53 year old postcard from her deceased grandmother in the mail. This postcard came forwarded that was mailed to our childhood home um, in 1968. Bender says she just sold that home last week and cleared it out completely. It was a postcard that my grandmother had mailed to my parents and the girls in 1968 from London. The postcard shares her grandmother's experience arriving in London, going through customs, stating her adventures are unlike anything she's ever dreamed of. I don't know what happens when we die. I, our talk of the travels, you know, send me a message. And, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if that's what it was all about. Um, somebody may have just found it on the street and stuck it back in the mail. It didn't have a new, it did not have a new stamp on it. It did not have a new postage mark. A postcard frozen in time, Bender says came right when she needed it most. Having asked my mom for a sign and feeling like I did already get it, I won't be as anxious maybe, but I will be more aware. Aware of the possibility messages can be sent even after death. Reporting in Cedar City, I'm Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News.